Most Americans have no idea that ancient cities with advanced architectures once dotted the ancient North American landscape. Very, very few of us were conscious of the immensity of a place like Monk's Mound at Cahokia, opposite St. Louis, which is bigger in its footprint than the Great Pyramid at Giza. We didn't know that. The knowledge embedded in these earthworks and encoded in their structure is anything but primitive. It's remarkable. What I've learned now is just how amazing uh, they were in terms of their knowledge of the solar system and of mathematics. Artifacts of, of iron were found, uh, artifacts of hardened copper, uh, stone tablets with writing. R regular farmers just plowing their fields would really turn up uh, literally bushel baskets of arrowheads, uh, spear points, etc. And uh, these things were commonplace. Some people, such as uh, Caleb Atwater and uh, Squire and Davis, they believe the artifacts that they were finding around these mounds and uh, cities and, and earthen structures, that this was representative of an advanced civilization. Uh, the science of archaeology was really in its infancy at that time. There were only a, p a few people using what we would consider to be even remotely modern methods. According to the scholarly journal of the Ohio Historical Society, quote, no subject received more attention or stirred more controversy among archaeologists in the 19th century than the authenticity and presumed meaning of the engraved stone tablets that were periodically recovered from the mounds. And there are various things uh, uh, fueling these. There were religious, political, and social agendas. The doctrine of manifest destiny allowed the United States government to classify the Native Americans as savages by their terminology. And by calling them savages, that would allow them to push them aside and basically claim their lands as America expanded in a westward direction. Politically, it would have been impossible for them to have taken lands away from Indians, from any indigenous peoples, if they viewed them as having rights even close to what they had as American citizens. Manifest Destiny, the idea that American First Nations had never achieved anything worth preserving, has resulted in the wanton destruction of thousands and thousands of earth constructions, mounds, embankments, figures, and settlements. Science did tell them that there were certain races that were superior and some that were inferior. We would say that's bad science, where you want to discount information because it kind of doesn't fit what, what you think you see. And what you see is what people saw at the time were these savages who were in this pitiful state. So we have lost incalculable amount of archaeological data because of no appreciation of their value for historical purposes.